Welcome to Pinky's Travel Adventures, episode 32, and today we are heading to Townsville. And we've spent uh, a week at Bowen, sheltering from the storms, and uh, it was uh, turned out to be a, a great choice. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll wait and see what um, Townsville has in store for us. Yes. You excited, Pinky? Oh, uh, yeah, she looks excited, yes. All right, see you on the road. <laughs> Bye. This is crossing the Burdekin River on a strange rail road bridge. Very wide river. Uh, Google Maps has taken us on a shortcut uh, bypassing air. air. A spell air, A Y R, is it? A Y E. A Y E? No, it's A Y R. Is that? A Y R. So we're bypassing A Y air and going through the uh, cane fields. Quite uh, interesting. That's cool. We're back on the Bruce Highway south of uh, Townsville and uh, going through the uh, cane fields and this mountain sitting there in front of us and sometimes the cloud looked like it's sitting on the mountain it was like a volcano Well, this is what's called the Home Hill Comfort Stop and it's a length of a street and um, you can pre-camp here for, uh, for two nights and it looks like a number of, large number of people are taking advantage of it up there and I just swing around because it's along the railway track and down there's a stack more people down there as well Stay for a couple of nights. So we've stopped for a cuppa. I'm just doing a sideways shot of uh, my rig. Uh, I've got the airbags now adjusted and mm, the back is down a little bit compared to the front, but not much. I'm much more happier with it. Um, but the front of the caravan is now a little bit up, um, which is, I think it'll be fine. It's not too bad. It looks it's pretty level. I'm quite happy with that. So we bumped into uh, two people we know. Hello. Hello, this is Sharon and Lyndon. Hello. And uh, we're at, what caravan park is this? It's called Tasman Caravan Park at Rose Bay, R-O-W-E-S, not R-O-S. Rose Bay, which is uh, a suburb of... It's called... Uh, Townsville. Townsville. Um, not Pullman. And it's a big four. Big four. Yeah. It's a big four caravan park. Big four. In Rose Bay. <laughs> There's Pinky. She's misbehaving. What are you doing? Sit down. <laughs> Uh, Pinky's very naughty sometimes. Oh, well, she's come to the right house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where are you guys headed now? Um, Bowen for a South. night, then Airlie for a week. And then after that? We don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Right. Yeah, we didn't get to Airlie, did we? Because no. we, had, we had to rush to Bowen to get out of the storms. Yeah, we did. Well, we've decided to go over to Magnetic Island for the day. So we're walking to the ferry terminal, we've got 15 minutes, so hopefully we'll be fine. So 
fair ones. I'll show you some shots from the ferry. Thank you. No idea. <laughs> We, we bumped into some people catching the ferry over. Wow. Amazing what you find. Fucking a sting happens. Townsville City. Here we are at Nelly Bay. Terra Terminal. We're going to get on the Horseshoe Bay first. Well, here we are at Horseshoe, Horseshoe Bay. Pricing. You're going for a cup, are you, Tracy? Yep. <laughs> Coffee, please. So this is Horseshoe Bay, and they've got stinger nets out. So um, we can go for a paddle. Yeah. And it's patrolled. So we'll go and find a coffee shop, and then go to the toilet and put our swimmers on. This is the main street of the little village. Yeah, with the tree. strangler figs. Yeah, they are. They, they really do a penny for the tree. Horseshoe Bay Fish and Chips. What a lovely place. And we decided that we, uh, we need to top up with uh, <laughs> a bit of coffee and chocolate and cake and bef before we head out before we uh, braid go ourselves, go for a swim. Go for a swim. Yeah. Remember, this is only one half. There's another. Yeah. This is very. Also, have you seen the map of the Horseshoe Bay Beach Hire, stand up paddle boards, kayaks, and look at this old beast. An old international. Stand up paddleboard. So we're just walking back from the um, change area to go for a swim. Welcome to Horseshoe Bay. There's a boat ramp here off to the left, the jet skis. And then off to the right is the main area of town. Nudies on the beach. Latin bar. 
And my other ride is around. Bikes. Very nice. Oh, where we be? Who is here? And the forts are this number one. So which is number one? Forts walk. Yeah, forts walk. This is what's called the Forts Walk, which we think goes up the top of the mountain and um, get a pretty good view. And this is Arthur Bay Lookout. So we're looking at Arthur Bay. Still. It's still and warm. Yep. No wind. It'd be better if there's a bit of a breeze, wouldn't it? Yes. Not too bad when there's a bit of shade, but it's mighty hot. How do you like a new hat? It's good. I went swimming in my hat and it got wet. But it dries, it's UV protection. It's very good. As long as I don't get sunburnt, I'm right. How's your hat? Yeah, cool. Yeah. It's nice and light too. Yes. Look at it. Hello. Hello, little one. Hello. Oh, Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Feet of engineering. 25 local men from Main Roads Commission built this track and the block concrete forts ahead in just 10 months, finishing the job on 10th of July 43. Building material came by barge and they had to haul in the guns, 155mm US Army emplacements, weighing 10 ton each. This is the last climb up to the fort. Steps, 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 steps. <coughs> Are we up to 120? is about halfway up the steps. <sighs> yeah. Located a safe difference from the guns in case of enemy action. The reserve magazine housed the main supply of ammunition. About 400 high explosive projectiles each weighing around 43 kilos. Imagine carrying them in here. Further uphill each gun in placement had its own supply of immediate use and could call for more from the store. Why? There's bats. What? There's bats. So today the store serves a more peaceful practice of riding a full class rotor and more than a bats. Plus it's only about 200 pounds of this market species. This is the range finder's position who told them how far away the enemy ship was and what degree and they'd set their gun 
and look at his view at a basically 180 degree view of the ocean And down here at the bottom of range finder's position is one of the gut emplacement positions. So go out to that corner and look down. So this is the one of the emplacements. I think this is the second one. And it's magazine storage behind it. And it would shoot in this direction. Where that ship is. Mighty <sighs> warm. Yep. The artillery command post controlled all battery operations including searchlights and radar units. He has the main depression range finder, a long telescope on finely geared mounting sealed in the concrete. So that's um, Horseshoe Bay Township. Oh man, there's another structure over there. So this is inside the command post. Siding slots. Awesome. And another thing we jiggy up here that did the range finding as well. And down we go. The command post signal station. And over there, there's another structure called the signal station. So you can go down this way. <laughs> and this is a uh, little rock ledge on the way down from the, uh, the fort which looks out over the inland of most of the island, or well, this section of the island anyway. <coughs> so that's the command post uh, up the top there where I was. I mean, you couldn't see him doing anything, but uh, you knew exactly what he was doing. Can you see the wallaby? Yeah. I'll 
Skippy! Come back! <laughs> oh, stop! Oh, stop! Oh, Skippy! Look at that. It's pretty. Skippy! Oh, that's so fast! <laughs> Stop, you stop. You stop. You're oh, still there. Yeah, because you can't go down any further. No. He's hiding incognito. He's trying to disguise himself. Yeah. It's not working. <laughs> He's still there. Yeah, he's watching us. He's watching us. The other one we saw was Blacktail. Sorry? Celic Ferry coming in to Magnetic Island. So this is the strand. The walkers. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, the bloke said, the lifeguard said yesterday they would start about 7 o'clock to bring them in. So it takes a few hours. They're pulling in the stinger net at the moment in the process thereof. So we just have to swim outside the stinger net. Nice uh, sandy bottom. Just nice in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? He just took it.
in the water for a while. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. These are the uh, guy roads that they've pulled up, which will be pressure cleaned and dried and put away for storage for next season. And this is the net waiting to be treated. Picnic area in the middle of the strand. The kiosk. And then that's a huge there too. So the strand goes around the bump. Lovely foreshore. We'll have some lunch from the takeaway shop. Vultures coming up. Look, 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 look. Get away. Go on. <laughs> the ocean serene. Sculptor and they light her up every night depending on what the ocean temperature is. Well, we've had our fish and chips for lunch. Now we're heading back to the car, back to the caravan car. And I had a chico roll. Oh, well, you had a chico roll. Oh, it was beautiful. Yummy. Chico, chico roll. roll. <laughs> Alistair had fish and chips. I had a mackerel, a holy mackerel. <laughs> holy mackerel. Holy it's mackerel. Lovely. Fish. Beautiful view. While we're sitting down having lunch. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. Townsville, yeah. lovely Townsville. Yes. Lovely town, city. No, it's quite warm today too. You what? It's quite warm today. Yes. Yeah, what did I say? 30 degrees. Yep. Yeah. They're pulling the stinger nets out all over town. Yes. I'm not quite stingers. sure how the stingers know what. Oh, here it is, but anyway. 
Um, it was really funny because there was, as I was pulling out the stingers nets, there were so many people still trying to swim in them. So as they were pulling them out, <laughs> it was like about 20 people huddled together trying to have a swim in the net. <laughs> So we'll go back to the caravan park and have a swim in the pool. Yeah, that'll be nice. Well, this is called the Rock Pool, which is at the uh, northern end of the Strand in um, Townsville. And the council just looks like they've finished cleaning up. They drained it and cleaned it out. So now they'll fill it up again, I'm assuming. to the end of episode 32. 32? 32? Really? We're nearly halfway through 64. I don't think we've seen the last 16. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this is our last night evening in uh, town, Townsville. Townsville. Yep. It is, yeah. And we're heading Thank north right. only a little bit tomorrow. 50 k's um, to Mystic Golf Club. Mystic Golf Club. We have to play around Alistair. You can play around, I stuck it to No, oh, golf! <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, what do we think of Townsville? I like Townsville. Yes, yeah, I, I like actually, Townsville. I said to Brandon, a lot of the cities where town we've been to, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it would be very hot in summer, summer yes. but you have air conditioning, you get mm. you get used to it. And I think, I think it's a beautiful city and we were all amazed. The other day I actually asked all of them, what population they thought. 10,000. I think <laughs> Alistair thought about 30. Tracy thought about 50 or 60. Nearly 200,000 people yeah, it's a big living in Townsville. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we all got a shock. Yeah. I thought I thought it was about 198,000. Yeah. But even I got a shock for 200,000. So today, like when we drove out to um, Anaconda, it was, mm. it was big. Like, we were driving and I said, wow, this is such a big Right. Yeah, that that look out, Shop. Castle yeah. Rock we went to, Castle Hill, Castle Hill. it's it's huge. Mm -hmm. Townsville is yeah, enormous. Big place. I love yeah. it, absolutely love it. Now we um, we've only spent three nights here, mm -hmm. um, and we spent a fair bit of money going over to Magnetic, Magnetic Island and, and speak up out there. Now um, because we're on a bit of a budget. We could stay longer in Townsville, but it would cost us a lot more money to go and see things. Like there's lots of things you can see, but you've got to pay money to go in and yeah. to visit yeah. them. And you've got to pick your battles as to where, where you go. Like, yeah. a, I think, yeah, there's it's an it's aquarium a, and there's the Billabong Zoo and yeah. those kinds of It's a shame that that um, rock pool today was being cleaned and closed. Yeah. You guys would have loved that. Yeah, yeah. so every Wednesday... So safe and swimming. There's a sign up says every Wednesday they close it to clean it out. Yeah, which we spot didn't realise. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And anyway, it's that all along well. the strand is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so it's magnificent. Oh, look, here come all the trees. Very, very reminded us a little bit of the Gara. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The walk. But, um, yeah, beautiful. Plenty of places to sit in the shade, sit on the grass, sit in the yeah. sand. The, the walk yeah. was shady with the big palm trees yeah. and stuff. It was yeah. magnificent. Yeah, no. Just lovely. Just beautiful. So we'll just see what our next episodes bring. Yes. Bye. 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 Cheers. You say bye, pics? Come on, don't be snob. <laughs> Pinky's Travel Adventures. Episodes <laughs> 32?
32, yes. Is it 22 or 32? 32. <coughs> and uh, today we're leaving Bowen after a week of um, wet, sheltering from the storms. Yeah, wet weather. And heading to Toowoomba. Try Townsville. <laughs> 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 Apparently you have to speak up. What's that? Have we Loudly. enjoyed Townsville? No, shut up. Oh. <laughs> this is a wrap up of Townsville. No, she doesn't want me. She enjoyed it. All right, Pinky, get off, Pix. Leave her alone. Come on, stop being a nuisance. <laughs> Pix bite Pinky. <laughs> oh. Shake her.